Hey everyone, welcome to this video on the installation of Parrot Security Operating System. There are multiple ways to go about with this installation. Many people prefer to install it directly onto a hard disk where the Parrot Security OS will overwrite whichever data the hard disk already has. Now this is beneficial if you want to preserve your data for the long term, but this might pose some trouble to people who do not have a spare hard disk or do not want to lose their current installation of Windows operating system. Another way to use Parrot Security is by using the Live Boot, but whatever changes you make to the Live Boot operating system, those changes are removed the moment we restart or shut down the system. A very good common ground between both these installations is virtualization. Using virtualization software like VMware or VirtualBox, we can install Parrot Security on our systems while simultaneously saving our data and having the convenience of a host machine such as a Windows operating system in case things go wrong. To start the installation, we first need to get an ISO file for the Parrot Security operating system. This can be found on the current website parrotsec.org. Once we enter the website, move into the download section and select the Get Security Edition over here. Parrot Security OS has multiple desktop environments to you to choose from. This desktop environment serves as a different user interface for the user. For example, right now we have the MADE desktop and the KDE desktop. As you can see from the screenshots, both of these look quite different while having a similar look and feel to them. For our example, let's go with the MADE desktop. We have two options, either we can go with the direct download or we can get the torrent file. For this example, if we press on the download button and our download will start. I have already downloaded this file, but the ISO file provided over here will serve as an installation. It will have around 4.5 GB of space. It will be used to install this operating system in VMware. Once the file is downloaded, we can close this and open VMware Workstation. VMware can also be used as a player version or the workstation version. If you have much more familiarity with using VirtualBox or virtualization application, we can use that as well. Once the VMware is open, we click on File and select a new virtual machine. For the first time installation, we're going to go with the typical and recommended installation procedure instead of an advanced one. If you have already installed multiple virtual machine OSs, going with the advanced option will give you much more control over the hardware customization. But for now, we're going to stick with the typical option. Moving on, it will ask us for a source to where to install the operating system from. Since we're going to use a live ISO first, we're going to select the third option, which will be I will install the operating system later and press next. As we already know, Parrot Security is a Debian derivative. So when selecting the guest operating system type, we're going to go with Linux. And in the selection, we're going to choose whichever the highest version of Debian is along with a 64-bit OS. We're going to click on next. We're going to name our virtual machine, let's say Parrot Security OS. We're going to select the location where we want to save the virtual machine. This will have all the hard disks of the operating system installation. We're going to click on next. For the disk size, we're going to specify how much of the current memory are we going to allocate. This is the hard disk memory of the operating system installation. Whatever changes we make in the operating system, whatever applications we install on the virtual instance will all be stored in this amount of memory. While it is recommended to go with at least 15 GB of storage, we can go as high as possible and we're going to select the recommended 20 GB as written. When given the choice of storing the virtual disk as a single or multiple files, many people want to keep their virtual instance in a way so that it helps them stay portable. People change systems and sometimes they want to swap their instances between the work and their personal computer. If there is no portability in mind, storing the virtual disk as a single file gives the best performance and should be the recommended go-to when installing for the first time. We click on next here and it's going to give us a summary of the settings we have already settled till now. We're going to press on finish and there we go. We have our installation step completed. 
Here on out, we're going to click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Here we're going to have a look at some of the requirements that the Parrot Security OS will need. It is known to be a memory lightweight operating system, but just to have the most optimum performance, we're going to provide around 2 GB of RAM from our host system, which is a Windows 10 machine. When it comes to the processors, I'm going to increase it to 2 and the number of cores to 2 as well. So giving out a total 4 processor cores to the operating system. Now this depends on what are your computer rig and how much resources you can justify. So these need to be customized according to the system at hand. Hard disk size has already been set at 20 GB and the rest of them are pretty standard and we can go on. One thing that we need to make sure is selecting the CD DVD IDE. Here we have to use our ISO image file over here. Previously it should be use physical drive and at auto detect. We're going to use a use ISO image file over here. We're going to click on browse. We're going to go to where we have downloaded the ISO file which is over here and select it. Press OK here and we can now power on this virtual machine. At this point of time, there are two options. We can go with the try install option using the graphical user interface or we can go using the terminal mode. To get a better user experience, we're going to go with the try install mode specifically. Press enter and it's going to start the live boot ISO. Meanwhile, VMware has a prompt over here where it will try to install some VMware tools on it. While this is not mandatory, it is much more recommended to install these tools so that you can get some additional features like drag and drop with the host system and many more things. For now, we are going to close this prompt. As you can see, this is the live boot ISO of the Parrot security operating system. Currently, it's running the Mate desktop as we have downloaded in the website. The live boot ISO is necessary to get a good feel of the operating system. There are many good Linux distros that have this live boot option so that you can give a try of the operating system before installing it permanently. Once you are into the live boot, we can start up with the installation using the shortcut, as you can see, install Parrot. I'm going to double click it. And this is a Calamaris installer. Choose your language as American English and press next. You can select your time zone according to your location. And we can go next. At this point of time, you have to choose the correct keyboard. Now, what many people go get confused is choosing their own language keyboard. But people must keep in mind is what keyboard the laptop provides. Most of the systems that come pre-built provide the English US keyboard. So whatever keyboard you choose, make sure to type here and test that all the buttons including the superscript and the subscript buttons are working correctly before moving forward with this step. Once you have settled on the keyboard that you need to install, you can go ahead. Here it will ask you to select storage device and the only option you are going to get is the amount of hard disk storage you have given in the virtual machine settings. We have already provided 20 GB of storage, we are going to choose that and we are going to erase this disk. Manual partitioning can be useful when you are going to install Parrot security on an operating system or on a hard disk where it is already including a Windows OS. For now, we are going to select Erase Disk and press Next. We are going to give our full name. Let it be Simply Learn. You can give the name of the computer and this is the username which we will use to log in. This is your root password that we are going to give over here. The root password of this Kali Linux will act as the administrative access and it will be necessary for making changes to the system or installing and updating software. 
enter the password and repeat it over here. You have the option to log in automatically without asking for the password, but for security purposes, it is recommended to keep this disabled. Click on next. This is another summary of the installation that we are going to move forward with. Have a look that whatever changes we have made is according to your requirements. And once everything is checked, we can press on install. Click on install now. And we're going to let it complete the work. As you can see, the installation of Parrot security is now completed. We're going to make sure that we have the restart now button over here disabled. I'm going to click on done. We're going to shut down this live boot ISO. We're so going to click on menu. Turn off the device. And shut down. We're not restarting straight away because if you remember correctly, in the virtual machine instance settings, we had given it an ISO file. Please remove the live medium and press enter to continue. We can just press enter to continue. And it's going to shut down. Now to move on, we're going to click on edit virtual machine settings. We're going to CD, DVD, and we're going to use physical drive now. We're going to remove it from the ISO image file because the installation has already been completed and we don't want to use the same ISO file again and again. By using physical drive over here, it's going to detect the 20 GB hard disk that we have already provided and installation is done on it. We're going to press OK and we're going to power on this virtual machine for testing. Make sure this you click ES over here. This is the grub menu. At this, we get different choices, for example, which NVIDIA drivers off or with some other advanced options. More often than not, we're going to choose the first option and press enter. If you remember clearly, we did not get the option of try install or a terminal run, just like we did in the live boot ISO. Since this is running straight from the 20 GB hard drive storage, it's going to start the OS directly. Now with the login screen, you can see our username over here as we provided in the installation. We're going to enter our root password. And press enter. And this is our currently working desktop of the Parrot security operating system. We can open the terminal over here. And we're going to try a root password and installation. To install any software, we're going to use the keyword sudo apt install and neofetch. We're going to use the root password that we used to log in. We're going to press Y for yes. This is just an additional step that we're doing to check that the installation is done correctly with the correct amount of hardware requirements that we had provided. Now that we have installed NeoFetch, we can write the command NeoFetch. And this is going to give us some information about our installation. You can see the OS name as Parrot OS 4.11 is running on a VMware host, so the kernel versions and some of the other information like the number of packages installed, the current shell version, resolution of the VMware instance that we are running, the desktop environment which is made as we had downloaded once and some other things. You can see the memory is supposed to be 1951 megabytes which is supposed to equal around 2 GB of RAM usage that we had provided. With this, we have completed the installation of the Parrot security installation. Hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions regarding this, please write them in the comments section and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.